Hi, this is Kiran. In this video, I am going to show you the real-time performance of AMD FX8350. This might not be exact thing to test this process, but there are few guys like me who wants to test Camtasia Studio and how this processor is going to work. So to do this test, I am using this stuff, a sample video rendering of 4 minutes. The quality is 1080p. I'm using a graphics card GTX 750. I'm not sure how this is going to be useful for editing or rendering. But this 2GB DDR5 will definitely help us during editing process. I'll just kick off the rendering process. Let's compare the CPU and temperature. Also the RAM usage. Mostly a RAM shouldn't be that much picky when it comes to rendering. So let's see how the test goes. Here is the Camtasia Studio. I already have my edited file. It has been laid over four different tracks. So the main MP4, the tools, the audio that I have done. And this is a video and other audio that is going to support the music. As well as there are some layers for some text animation kind of stuff for watermark as well as the thanks information. Towards top right you can see this is a gadget CPU usage you can find out my other videos how to get this one activated as one of your desktop gadget so here comes the AMD FX8350 this is octa core 8 cores here it shows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are the numbering for the CPU the bracket you can see the temperature and the percentage that it is gonna use on top you can see the RAM free and the total GB this is not going to use any page over here right now as well as a graphical mode representation right now how the processor is loaded before kicking this process i just wanted to show you how snappier is this so you can see this is a 1080p i'm just sliding it down and the information is probably coming pretty easily let me play and you see there is no lag while it is playing i'm not 100 percent sure whether it is due to the graphics card or with the processor when it comes to processor you can see it's getting bumped up and the processor temperature is also getting up you can also observe the same in the graph so this is how it looks like when i quickly click on here and there you can see the arrow marks over here or the graphs are getting huge i mean the cpu is pulled up to maximum account but that isn't the case when it comes to the ram maybe looks like the graphics card is doing the job if possible if i get any other tests wherein i can test this graphics card i can show you in my further videos but this video is mainly to test the cpu performance and you should also note that i'm using screen recorder it is also running as one of the application with this all these things are set let's kick off this produce next next you can see i have chosen 1080p as the settings i don't want to have any controller next next and here comes the final compilation but before doing that i just wanted to show you the timing let's start when this is close to 1140 so that we'll get a precession time when we are going to fire this stuff you can also know the initial temperatures that is close to 40 degrees now i'm just firing boom so i'm just going to put the time over here i'll just do a fast forward of this video so that you can see the timing over there how it goes but i'm not going to do any other stuff but meanwhile you can see that this cpu usage is almost 91 percent that is 50 degrees centigrade it is going on keep on increasing now the rendering video is now around 10 percent it's closing down so it's half a minute right now so let's see how it tackles for four minute video will it take more than four minutes five or six or is it a worth for you but again this is only for Camtasia studio if you are using a different kind of tools to do rendering or editing then you can compare them in a different videos i'm just giving importance only to Camtasia studio apart from this you can also see there are some avast and other tools which are still running just want to keep this uh, this is pretty much it's around one minute now it rendered 23 percent means almost quarter part of it i'm just keeping quiet because i'm just giving some rubbish information just watch the video and concentrate yourself which are the things you felt that amd processor is going to do and note that i'm not done any of the overclocking it's just the stock processor there is no overcooling and it's just going on with 4000 megahertz out of the factory reset the ram which is used is only 2638 mb 
we got to closely watch this temperature that is climbing up like anything it's not getting down it's getting to 57 degrees as per online stuff they mentioned that it is till 60 degrees or 65 is okay but it shouldn't cross more than 70 degrees which is not good for motherboard or even for the processor so with the stock things whether it will be okay or will it be okay for the camtasia studio let's go and watch it but for the four minute video it shouldn't be that much big issue but if you're going for more than 10 or 20 minutes then you should seriously think about whether you need to go for this processor or not with these things are set i'm just keeping this video fast forwarded now it's coming close with uh, the compilation or the rendering and it did almost take like four minutes 30 seconds I'm just stopping this stuff and you can see it just stopped over here so for four minutes eight seconds it took four minutes 30 seconds that's pretty close to uh, the running time so I really wondered that this Camtasia studio did real magic when it comes to AMD processor and the maximum temperature is also not crossing more than 60 degrees let us watch the video and you can observe the details by yourself thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more more videos this is kiran signing off but before going that i'm just going to play for 10 seconds video the one which is rendered it's of very good quality thanks once again see you soon bye bye